Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you geometric sequence. Of course, there is a PDF file version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. First one, we need to find the value of n, which is the first term greater than 1. So to work this out, first of all, we need to find the general rule for this sequence first. So first of all, we know that the general rule is t of n equal a r power of n minus 1. So we need to work out the value of a and we work out the value of r. So that will give us the rule for this sequence. Okay. So a is the first term. So this is a. And to work out r, so we can use term 2 over term 1 or can be term 3 over term 2, if you like. So let me just work this out. So r is equal to, let's say, term 2 divided by term 1. So that is 5 over 162. Then we divide by term 1. So that will give me 5 over 324. So that will give me, so I just quickly put that on a calculator. So I just go. 5 over 162 and divided by 5 over 324. So there you go. The common ratio is 2. So R is 2. So therefore, T of N is A. A is 5 over 324. We times by 2, power of N minus 1. So we can just write time by 2, power of N minus 1. So there you go. So that is the general rule for this sequence. But we want the first term that is greater than 1. So to work this out, so what I do, I just go t of n that is greater than 1. So this means that 5 over 324 times 2 pub n minus 1, which is greater than 1. So what I do now is I just times 324 on both sides and then I divide by 5. In another word, I just times this by 3, 2, 4 over 5 and I times this by 3, 2, 4 over 5. So this cancel with this. So now on the left hand side, we'll live with 2 pub n minus 1. That is greater than 3, 2, 4 over 5. So there you go. Now to solve this, what I do, I take log on both sides. So it doesn't matter we take log base 10 or natural log. That is by E. Okay, it doesn't matter which base you use. So in this case, I just do LN. Okay, natural log. That is base E. So let me just move this up. So I take log both sides. So LN of 2 and minus 1 greater than LN 3, 2, 4 over 5. So now we use log law, ln of a pub m is equal to m ln of a. So in another word, we just bring this in front. So that is equal to n minus 1 brackets ln of 2. Don't forget because it's more than one term. Okay, so we need to bracket. So greater than ln of 3, 2, 4 over 5. So there you go. So what I do now is I just divide by ln of 2 on both sides. So if I divide by ln of 2 on both sides, so that would give me n minus 1 greater than ln of 3, 2, 4 over 5. And then we divide by ln of 2. So there you go. So now I just put that on a calculator. So I just go ln of 3, 2, 4 over 5. Don't forget, we need to close the brackets and I divide by ln of 2. So log base E, don't forget ln of 2. Close the brackets. So that is 6.02. We do two decimal places. So n minus 1 is greater than 6.02. So now if I add 1 on both sides, or I can just move this on this side if you like, become plus 1. 
So n is greater than 6 plus 1 is 7, 7.02. And of course, n have to be whole number. So therefore, n must equal to 8, okay? So therefore, n is equal to 8. So that will give us the first term that is greater than 1. Of course, we can check it out. So let's just check it, okay? So we can substitute i into this rule here so we can see whether it is true or not, okay? So we can just go 5 over 3, 2, 4, we times 2, power of 8 minus 1 is 7. So there you go, 1.97. So therefore, just above 1. Let's try n equals 7. So that means we just go change that to 6 because n is 7. 7 minus 1 is 6, okay? So there you go. See, if it n equals 7, that is below 1. But we want the first term that greater than 1. So n must be equal 8. So therefore, the answer is n is equal to 8. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi there, I'm back. How did you go? So let me go through it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into it. So to solve this, first of all, we need to work out the general rule for this sequence first, okay? And the general rule is T of N, is equal to a times r power of n minus 1. And we know a is 243. So what we need to do is we just need to work out r first. So r is the common ratio. So you can use term 2 over term 1 or term 3 over term 2. So let me choose you term 3 over term 2. So that's over 81. And if I simplify this, so that will give me a third. So the common ratio for this sequence is a third. So therefore, this will give me A is 243 times by R. R is 1 over 3 or a third power of N minus 1. So there you go. And we want the first term that is less than 1 over 100 or 0 0.01 if you like. So let me just write this down. 0 0.01. We want the first term that less than that, okay? So to work this out, so we just know that T of N that less than 0 0.01. So to work this out, I just substitute this into the formula. So this means that 243, a third, N minus 1 must less than 0 0.01. Now we just need to solve it. So what I do, I divide this by 243 and I divide this by 243 so that cancel out so this means that one third power of n minus 1 is less than 0 0.01 over 243 so now I just take log on both sides okay so I can take logs by 10 or log space e if you like so log by e is ln so i just take ln so ln of one third n minus one is less than ln of 0 0.01 over 243 so there you go so i just move the index down to the front so that will give me n minus one that is ln a third is less than ln of 0 0.01 over 243. So let me just put that on a calculator first. So just go ln of 1 over 3, close brackets. So there you go, negative 1.1. 1, .1. 1 that small place will do because I'm going to store this into memory A. So answer, shift, store in A. So negative 1.1 brackets n minus 1 is less than and I just go ln of 0 0.01 divided by 243 and close brackets. So there you go, negative 
Answer ship store in B. So negative 10.1. Negative 10.1. And what I do, I just divide by negative 1.1 on both sides. So I divide by negative 1.1. I divide negative 1.1. So this cancel out. Now because I divide by a negative number, so this means that this side here must be switch. Okay, remember that for me. So this means that n minus 1 instead of less than must be greater than. So what I do, I just put that on the calculator. So I just go b alpha b divided by alpha a. So there you go, 9.19. So 9.19. And if I move the 1 on that side, that becomes 10.19. So n is greater than 10.19. But then the first term that is less than 0 0.01. So this means that n must be equal to 11 because 10 will be greater than. So we want less than, so that means the next term that is 11. So therefore, so therefore, the 11th term. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got it correct. Bye.